Alright guys, so there's an old saying, cheaters never prosper, and it looks like Respawn decided to make that statement a reality. Stand by for Nimpact in 3, 2, 1! Now, for those unfamiliar, Apex Legends was Respawn's big smash out kind of sleeper hit. They just announced it, dropped it, and one month later it made like 90 million dollars. But, as we can see from this article by Vicky Blake, who the link will be in below in the description, uh, we see Respawn's latest anti-cheat measures sees Apex cheaters banned by hardware IDs. Alright, now before I continue, yes, more of that. Okay, so I, I've played a lot of MMOs in the background, you know, for background for me. I've, I've played a lot of MMOs. I've played a lot of things where I'm working with people or I'm working against other people, and there's something that just enraging, you know, just mm, about cheaters. Something enraging about cheaters. I hate cheaters. I don't hate them as people, I just, I hate the behavior. Anyways, so continuing on. Uh, Respawn has banged the swift hammer of justice once again. Hardware ID banning. A number of Apex Legends players on PC, including one prolific cheater who was banned again and again as he attempted to bypass the bans live on Twitch. Now, that being said, if you're going to try to bypass something while other people can see you, okay, I, I can see that, I guess, but... Don't be surprised if they if they don't just nuke you from orbit. You're like, oh, hey, hey, officer, officer. Yes. I'm gonna try to rob this bank, okay? Just just stay there and see if I'm successful. I should probably be in the vault in eh, 10, 15 minutes. All right then, son. I'll get a coffee and then we'll uh, we'll see what happens. Thanks. I don't know what you think is gonna happen if you try to break a company's product while they're there, especially since it's a digital license and they can revoke the license at any time. Boom. All right, as uh, shared on uh, Reset Era and Reddit, now I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going uh, through that. I don't I'm not worried about that so much, but just know that it is a changing IP addresses and other such fixes are not effective as hardware ID code is unique to your computer's hardware. So you could probably get away get around it if you bought another motherboard. But man, imagine that having to get a, buy a new motherboard just to play a game that you're going to cheat on and have to buy another motherboard. Of course, I'm hardware banned, lamented chunk. Can anyone help and let me know what I can do to bypass this so I can play normal? Every time I create a new account, it gets banned. Hey, 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 chunk. Um, okay, so, so, uh, maybe you can do what Bethesda wanted and write a, an essay on why cheating is bad and promise not to do it again. You, you can try that. I don't know. Listen, it may seem like I, I don't care about, it may, it may seem like I don't care. And the answer is, I do care. I am deriving a lot of, uh, we'll say, perverse joy out of cheaters being banned. And then, of course, uh, another Reddit posted moment by moment, uh, live updates of a streamer taking down on live stream, uh, chronically cheaters, taunts, and jeers right up until he gives up and switches to a fishing game. All right, so we're going to continue on with that. Uh, respawn banned over 30... 355,000 cheaters on the PC last month, confirming with scaling up the anti-cheat team, which, by the way, bravo... Keep in mind, you also probably want to have QC and balancing teams as well. Cheating is one thing, but you got to make sure that your game functions in a live state, meaning that you want to make sure that it's free of bugs, or at least as free bug free as possible. You want to make sure that it's free of exploits, at least as uh, exploit free as possible. And you probably want to get rid of any microtransactions or cash. Wait, no, that's opinionizing. I'm sorry. I shouldn't opinionize, shouldn't editorialize. Should just breathe, you know, give the thanks. I'll give the take afterwards. So it says they say the service works. But the fight against cheaters is an ongoing war that we'll need to continue to adapt and be very vigilant about fighting. Respawn said at the time, we are taking cheating very seriously and care deeply about the health of Apex Legends for all players. Okay, so, now that we've done that, now that we've seen that, and again, the article was by Vicky Blake, so I'll link will be in the description. Let's talk about why this is a good thing. Okay, so Respawn literally came out and gave EA who was having just a terrible year, just an absolutely terrible year press-wise, gave them just, oh my god, like, this is this is, this is owned by EA, it's amazing, and it single-handedly, boom, turned the PR around. Now, of course, Respawn was like, look, I need, we need you to be as off, as hands-off as possible, just go that way. And they did. So I like that. I like that a lot. What does this mean for the future? Meaning, if you have hardware ID bans, 
that means that the cheating sites are going to be are are going to are going to be down uh, eventually because no one's going to be able to afford to buy the cheats because it's like, well, I may have to buy new hardware to get around this. Of course, no solution is perfect, and people will eventually find a workaround, or they'll have private servers at some point. Who knows? I will, however, make one prediction here, and because the point of this this channel here, where you're hanging out with Nim, is part of uh, gaming analysis and trends, is that there will always be a way, obviously. People will try to find a way to get an unfair advantage. I'm actually going to think we'll see a rise in Smurf accounts, uh, in carries, in paid carries, because here's the thing. You won't be able to cheat, but if you get good players who are legitimately good at the game, you pay them to be on your team, then, well, you're not cheating, you're just playing with good players. And of course, the good players may, may make a nice, tidy profit off this. So I wonder if we'll see some win trading or things like that. Uh, keep in mind, for editorial uh, accuracy, I do not play Battle Royale games. I'm not a fan of them. I played about three hours of PUBG, and I was like, eh, it's just not for me. It's not my thing. But I want to make sure that you guys know that Respawn is trying to keep its game living and moving forward, especially since it did fall against Fortnite in the rankings on Twitch recently, so it wants to make sure it's nice and strong. So bottom line, tell me what you think about anti-cheating. Is being banned by Hardware ID too much? Or is it not strict enough? You know, would you want them people to nuke, you know, walk, kick in the door, boom, kick in the door, da 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 just blow, just blow the PC away? I don't know. I may not make a sound like that again, but I wanted to do something for emphasis. So let me know in the comments below. Now keep in mind, guys, I live stream on Twitch, uh, which links will be below, uh, on Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Saturday and Sunday, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and uh, Monday and Tuesday, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, so feel free to pop on by, and all the other social media stuff is there. So until next time, keep gaming, and enjoy life. Bye.